Here, Joseph Plum Martin recalls the hardship soldiers experienced on the line and after they were discharged. Plum Martin enlisted in the Continental Army in 1776 and served in New York and Connecticut during the American Revolution. Those who engaged to serve during the war enlisted, they were promised 100 acres of land each, which was to be in there or their adjoining states. When the country had drained the last drop of service it could to screw out all of the poor soldiers, they were turned adrift like old worn out horses. Nothing said about the land to pasture them upon. Congress did, indeed, appropriate lands under the denomination of soldiers' lands, in Ohio State or some state or some future state, but no care was taken that the soldiers should get them. The truth was, none cared for them. The country was served and faithfully served. That was all that was deemed necessary. It was, soldiers. Look to yourselves. We want no more of you. We were also promised six dollars and two thirds a month to be paid us monthly. And how did we fare in this particular? Why, as we did in every other thing, I received the dollars and two thirds till, if I remember rightly, the month of August, 1777, when pain ceased. And what was six dollars and sixty-seven cents of this continental currency, as it was called, worth? It was scarcely enough to procure a man a dinner. It is provoking to think of it. The country was rigorous in exacting my compliance to my engagements, but equally careless in performing her contracts with me. And why so? Because she had all the power in her own hands, and I had none. Such things ought not to be. Many murmur now at the apparent good fortune of the poor soldiers. Many I have myself seen, vile enough to say that they never deserve such favor from their country. The only wish I would bestow upon such hard-hearted wretches is that they might be compelled to go through just such sufferings and privations as that army did. And then, if they did not sing a different tune, I should miss my guess. I hope I shall one day find land enough to lay my bones in. If I chance to die in a civilized country, none will deny me that. A dead body never begs a grave. Thanks for that.